Well, another income tax cut could be on the way for our Kansans. Lawmakers are considering the idea after the state released a new and much larger surplus prediction. The Department of Finance and Administration expects to end the fiscal year with an extra $700 million in the bank. All new tonight at 10, THV 11, Sarah Habakowitz breaks down what that means for you. These extra funds come from your income and sales taxes. Back in February, the Department of Finance and Administration predicted a surplus of $240 million. But last week, they updated that, now expecting an extra $708 million. So why the jump and where will that money go? I sat down with state officials to find out. The state has more money in the bank. I, I know Arkansans may look at that and say, well, what does that mean for me? As the fiscal year comes to an end next month, Scott Harden with the Department of Finance and Administration is expecting the state to have millions left over. Our Kansans are, are spending more money uh, across the state. They're buying more products and they're making more money and paying more taxes on that money or more than we anticipated. Some of that surplus also comes from inflated prices, bringing in more taxes. All of the funds, more than the state expected in their 2024 budget, following a trend of record funds in recent years in the millions and even billions. You look over the last three years and you see the three largest surpluses in state history, which is really something considering, you know, the state's been in operation for quite some time. But where that money goes is now up to state lawmakers like Representative Brian Evans. And having conversations with the budget chairs, with uh, additional members of leadership, I just think it's the prudent move for us on behalf of uh, our constituents, the taxpayers of Arkansas, to make another cut in their income taxes. That's one idea that could be voted on as soon as next month in an expected special session at the Capitol. Currently, we're at 4.4%. Uh, I could see us being very fiscally responsible and moving that number down to 4%. If taken retroactively for 2024, could also mean a bigger tax return next year. Remaining funds could add to the state's now record billion dollar reserve funds. The rest could be decided in the 2025 legislative session. I can see this being a top priority uh, with myself and with Senator Hester uh, as we respectively try to lead our chambers. The fiscal year wraps up at the end of June. Lawmakers expect to meet before then for a special session to vote on an outstanding game and fish budget and discuss that possible tax cut. Sarah, thank you. Earlier this month, the legislator approved a $6.3 billion budget for fiscal 25. At the request of Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, that budget is an increase of less than 2% over last year.